it's time for the Eric Barnes Show. Find out what is going on inside Boonville Pioneer Baseball, straight from the coach. Exclusively on the Southwestern Indiana Sports Network. Wanting to scan those old videos, films, or audio to DVD? We'll look no further than Milligan Communications. We can also scan your old pictures, slides, and negatives to picture quality as well. With thousands of happy customers, let Milligan Communications help put your treasured memories on a digital media. Call Milligan Communications today at 812-630-2449. Milligan Communications capturing your yesterdays. This is your IHSAA. This is your state. This is your high school. This is your athletic association. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and we're here to make sure that all of this remains yours. This is your state. This is your community. This is your IHSAA. Hey everyone, Joey Chestnut here, world champion competitive eater. I follow Southwest Indiana Sports Network, and if you're hungry for sports, you should follow them too. Follow the Southwest Indiana Sports Network at SWISportsNetwork.com or search Roku for our channel at SW Indiana Sports Network. And welcome to this week's Eric Barnes Show. And Coach, last week you played at Princeton, you played Tell City, you played North Posey, and then you played in the, in the Charlestown uh, Invitational. Uh, why don't you recap those games for us? All right. Uh, so with Princeton, um, we knew we were up against a pretty good team, uh, a lot of good numbers, and so uh, just kind of going over some of that game, um, there wasn't a lot of scoring. We were trading zeros until the fifth where we broke through with two runs. Um, we held steady until we got to the bottom of the seventh inning there, and uh, things just kind of came apart. Um, lead off hit by pitch, a bump we didn't uh, field and, and get back to, to our position in time. Um, so it sets us up, you know, first and second. And um, so we get the two outs, and all of a sudden, uh, you get a blue pit. Those two runs score, um, and we were somehow able to to take the game to the eighth inning uh, after kind of a wild throw to the plate. There, we were able to to cover and and tag the guy out at home. So, uh, in the eighth inning, we put up zero, um, and then Princeton um, snuck one through um, the right side for for a game winning hit, and we wound up losing that game three two. But um, you know, it was just one of those games where we, we didn't execute exactly when we needed to. Um, Princeton, to give them a lot of credit, they never quit um, and just kind of really showed us that, you know, we have to turn a, another gear. We have to really learn to, to really step on the opponent when we have the opportunity. And um, we had a lot of guys on base and a lot of guys in scoring position, and we just weren't able to really cash in. So that, that tells us a lot about what we need to work on uh, for Wednesday. And uh, we finally got our shot to go to Tail City. Um, it was great to see Coach Benningfield and, um, early on, we came out and, and swung the bats really well, put up two in the first, um, and put one in the second, and then we, we had a, a five spot in the fourth to, to push the lead eighth nothing. Uh, Tail City never quit. They came back. They, they found a way to get guys on base, um, had some clutch hitting, and, and we made a couple errors that game. And that final score wound up being 8-6. Um, you know, a win's a win, but didn't really feel good about it because, again, we had that opportunity where we, we could have put the game away um, and we just really lost focus and, and didn't really do that. But we were able to walk away with an 8-6 victory. So um, the bus ride home was good. Uh, but a lot of a lot of good things in that game. Uh, Mason Gladish was 2-3. for three. Uh, Dominic Sharp was 1-4. Was for four, uh, Had a big two-run double there. Hunter Keebler uh, said his name quite a bit. Um, three hole for us. He was 2-4, two, two RBIs. Uh, had a double there as well, too. And uh, Seth Williams really gave us a good start on the mound there. Um, and he's been a nice surprise for us for somebody who hasn't pitched a lot of high school or especially varsity innings. Um, he's kind of been our, our steady, I would say, number three right now. And, um, you know, he gave us a really good effort on the mound and, and how to keep her follow that up with, with the save there. So um, a lot of good pitching and, and a lot of good hitting that game. Moving on to Thursday, 
with North Posey. That was our senior night. Uh, unfortunately, I had a family emergency that I had to go take care of, so I was actually not at the game. Um, but just looking at the final score, I mean, Posey can, they can swing the bats. Um, Aiden Collins is really tough on the mound. And we had a hard time showing fight early. I think with the last couple of innings, uh, we really had a charge in, into our, into our spirit and we played really hard and we were able to, to manufacture a few there to make the score, uh, 21 five there. Um, and we were just hoping that really set us up for the Charlestown tournament. Um, we've done that three or four years now and, um, you know, Hauser was the first game that we played, um, in the second game of that kind of that semifinal slate. And, um, I mean, just ultra impressive, you know, from a lot of different guys. Dominic Sharp took the ball for us and, um, wound up throwing four innings, um, lots of zeros, a couple of hits. Um, but the bats, I mean, I'm, I'm going to the box score now. I mean, we had 15 hits in that game. Um, that's probably one of our season highs. And, um, Dom hit his first grand slam, uh, of his career and, uh, his first home run of the season. And that really kind of really put the game away for, for, for us early, uh, Andre Kibro had three hits. Tyler Reinhardt was two, three, two for four. Um, Nathan Souter, three for three. Um, a senior that's been big for us lately and, uh, had four RBIs there and just another combination of really good, really good things from a lot of different guys. I mean, our lineup was really deep that weekend and, um, that really gave us a lot of confidence moving into the championship game with Charlestown and, um, you know, really nice facility up there. Um, uh, turf infield, just a good atmosphere and, um, you know, our guys are always really excited to go up there and play. And in that championship game, uh, Seth Williams got the start, uh, was terrific. Um, wound up throwing, I believe, five innings, gave up a couple of runs. Um, but we were able to, to really do the, the job offensively. And I was really excited to see the bottom of the order, uh, really pick up there. And we actually had three freshmen in that game. Uh, Charlie Campbell was one that, um, we brought up late from our university and, and he's done nothing but tremendous things for us in the infield. Um, I'm really high on him, you know, really good gloves good baseball IQ, um, you know, just a lot to like about him. Uh, Kane Jameson, uh, wound up catching that, that game, and we see him as a catcher for the next few years. He was two for three, had a really good day at the plate. Um, and then you look at it, uh, Grant Davis, um, another one that we're really high on, who's a multi-sport athlete and, and does a great job in all of those. Um, you know, played second base for us, can move to the outfield, and, and he was one for three with a really big hit and, and really find a way to get on base. So um, just ultra-impressive, you know, outing by us and, we talked after the game a little bit just about how it really matters how we play at the end, not at the beginning. And I think we've gotten better. We've had some ups and downs um, periods of time uh, throughout the season, but, you know, a lot of good things to build off of. And we were hoping to do that today, but Mother Nature pushed us back. So a uh, really good week for us. I mean, some up and down, but I think a lot of learning and building blocks happened that week. And, and we can't be more excited for that. So I'm really proud of these guys for coming together as a team and, and really showing some fight there, especially at the end of the week in Charlestown. And you're listening to the Eric Barnes Show on the South Coast Dance Sports Network, powered by Million Bucks for Communications. We'll be back right after the messages from our sponsors. You dream it, we create it at Street Dreams. Custom paint, fabrication, stereos, wheels, tires, and more. We're also your authorized Sinister Sound dealer. Street Dreams, 317-624-1000, where you expect quality and get... If you need to do something to feel okay to drive, you're not okay to drive. Don't drive buzzed. Want to know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. Welcome back to the Eric Barnes Show. And I tell you, Coach, if you got a, a good week this week, you got um, Wednesday you play Evansville Wright at Evansville at, at um, the University of Evansville Field. And then Thursday you get to play at Lake Stadium against Southridge. Uh, why don't you review all those games for us? So it's nice to have a light week, um, kind of getting healthy and, and trying to find some good rhythm before you get to the sectional next week. Uh, always a tough Wrights team. Um, you know, pretty big school there in 4A, and 
Um, they have a lot of good talent. They got several kids that are moving on to the next level to play. Um, you know, Keeper Parsons and uh, Pierce Heronbrook and some others too have, have done a nice job, and they've had a really good run in, in the SIC in the conference. I know they had a chance to play for three way tie uh, last week or the week before, and um, so we know it's going to be a tough challenge for us. But I think we're really excited to get out there and get on UE again, get that experience. Um, hopefully, it's a good atmosphere, and um, we're able to play some good baseball. So we're we're looking forward to playing them. Um, and then being able to, you know, play at League Stadium. Uh, hopefully we were, well, we were hoping to play tonight, but, you know, Mother Nature had had some other plans. So that game's moved to, to Thursday. But um, a really big game, you know, for, for both teams. You know, Southridge has a chance to win it outright. Um, and if we are fortunate enough to, you know, fortunate enough to win, um, we make Forest Park pretty happy with the share. Um, so we're not really concerned with that. Um, that's one where we're really wanting to, to do what we can to get ourselves prepared, um, you know, for the sectional coming up. And we know they're a good team. They play really good defense. They're scrappy in the box um, and led by a good coach. You know, Coach Mattingly does an awesome job, has, has done an awesome job ever since he's taken that job. And, um, you know, they, they have high expectations there, and they're not going to have anything less when they come to when it comes to, you know, possibly winning the conference outright. So, um, you know, it's going to be good for us, good tests, good teams, um, you know, and then hopefully that, that gives us enough information to, to make a good decision about what we're going to do getting into the, getting to the sectional. So, um, we're all excited. Um, we're excited to play at these really nice facilities, um, League Stadium and, um, you know, and some others. So, um, you know, it's going to be a good test for us and we're just excited to, to take the field and see how we're going to play. And, you know, it's, it's just kind of crazy because it just seemed like yesterday was the beginning of the season. You blink your eye and, we're we're going into the last see the last week of the season. Yeah, uh, you you want the ride to be longer. You wish it could be. Um, you know, especially you know with with a good group of kids like we have. Um, you know, we want to spend as much time as we can with them. Um, but we know that reality sets, and all good things have to come to an end at times. And um, we just want to cherish every moment that we have together. Um, every moment that we. have We've had, you know, especially for the seniors, you know, you losing that COVID year um, was was very uh, tough for us um, and tough for them as well too. Using, you know, losing a year of development and and just being able to be on the field and playing. So um, we're going to do everything we can to, to play as long as we can. Um, the season does fly by. I mean, I can't believe we're already talking about the end. It seemed like you and I were just talking about how we we're going to prepare for Jasper and and other things like that. But um, you know, that just, you know it's just kind of the way it is, you know, when you're winding down with school and everything like that. So, and you know, I'm a school teacher, so I, I'm looking forward kind of to the end of the, the school year. Um, but the baseball part, I mean, I could, I could do forever. You know, I wish I could keep those kids for as long as, as long as possible and, and, and really kind of bond with them some more and, and really watch them play. I mean, I enjoy seeing them take the field. I, I enjoy seeing them interact with each other. Um, that's just a really big joy to me. So I know I'm going to get the most out of this that I can. And, and I hope the boys do the same thing as well. Well, Coach, good luck the rest of the season. I appreciate it, Joe. Um, we're going to see what, we, what we're made of this week, and um, you know, hopefully we can walk away with two wins and get ourselves you know, confident and prepared going into the into sectional 32. So uh, looking forward to speaking to you next week, and hopefully you have a good rest of your week. And you've been listening to the Eric Barnes Show on Southwest Vienna Sports Network, powered by Million Bros for Communications. We'll see you next week. This is your IHSAA. This is your state. This is your high school. This is your athletic association. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and we're here to make sure that all of this remains yours. This is your state. This is your community. This is your IHSAA.